Hey guys, I'm coming to you with a tutorial um, for helping you guys complete the first task for your Create Your Own Country project. So the first thing we will need to do is go to Keynote. And so hopefully you guys actually have Keynote on your iPad or you've downloaded it from Self Service um, because it is the um, presentation um, app that we are gonna need for this project. So I'm going to Keynote. <clears throat> All right, so um, I had already started this um, presentation earlier and <laughs> tried to record it and realized I made an error. So I'm going to try to do this again to show you guys. So I want you guys to see some finished products here of some physical features, a land formations that I've created. One I call Video Land for you gamers out there. Um, and then the second one is just basically an organic, um, natural looking physical feature that is basically the um, island of Greenland. So I'm going to show you exactly how I um, got these two presentations here. So first off, if you haven't already started a keynote presentation, you will need to go to the plus sign. And when you go there, it'll say choose a theme. So you choose a theme and then pick just one of the basic white ones. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to pick that one, but hey, fine, I picked it. Doesn't matter. And then what I would do is I would actually go in and tap and delete these first ones. You don't need those words because you just want a blank screen, okay? All right, so um, we have our blank screen. So the first thing I would do is let's color it and give us some water. All right, um, because like I said, most of you guys are probably gonna be doing an island of some sort. So in order to do that, go up to the paint brush and this is your background, you see that? Okay, um, and then slight layout, you can actually change it to blank or whatever. Um, it's probably another thing we could have done. Um, and so we want the background to look like water. So we're gonna actually go to I'll go back and show you background gradient and so that that's some pretty blues but I kind of like my water to be a little more less of the green tone so I'm going to go into colors and I'm going to go and I'm going to pick in this row here I like that blue hey, I don't mind those two colors together let's take a look oh yeah it's pretty blue all right, that does look like water, doesn't it there? Okay, so <clears throat> I have my water. All right, so now I need to actually have my land form, my space, my island, whatever that is. Um, so now I'm gonna go up to the plus sign. And the first one I'm going to do <clears throat> is an organic natural land form. So I'm gonna go to the shapes, right? So that's the third one here. And I'm actually gonna scroll until I find places. And so here you will see all of the continents of the world are located there. And we can actually create our own island, own land space, just by using some of the land continents that we have. And so what I am going to do is, I think I'm gonna actually um, use uh, Indiana. Why not? So I'm gonna go back and show you that again. So I'm gonna go up to the plus sign, went to places underneath the shapes, and I clicked this one, which is actually the United States. And I'm gonna actually make it a little bigger so that I can see the spaces here because there's some things that I'm gonna, I'm gonna break some things away <clears throat> and delete some things so that I can only use um, Indiana which happens to be right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. So first thing I want to do is break it apart because I want to get rid of all of these other land spaces here, um, all the other continents so that I could just use Indiana as my land space. So go up to the paintbrush again. And down here where it says break apart, you hit that. And if you notice, you see all of those little dots those are basically like areas where this this uh, image was connected. So I'm going to touch outside of it so that those dots go away. 
And then I'm gonna go right to Indiana and I'm going to pull it away. And that, that didn't work so hot. Okay, there it goes. So I just pulled Indiana away from the rest of the continental United States. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and delete, highlight. I wish I should have did that in one swoop. Highlight and delete. Highlight, I see some islands there. I'm gonna get rid of those and delete. I wanna delete that. Hawaii is down there. I kinda of wanna get rid of those. Let me go cancel that. Let me see if I can highlight. There we go. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of some of these other little minute little islands. You see all how that all that came up? Delete. And I think there might be some more down here. Yep, I know it's that delete. And so I'm gonna keep doing that. I should have tried to do it in one swoop, but I wasn't able to. Look, look at that, guys. Nope, I got Indiana. I don't want Indiana. I want all of. Okay. Yep, delete. All right, so now I got Indiana. I'm gonna make it a little bigger, okay? Because I'm gonna morph it a little bit so I can turn it into a land space. I don't want it to look exactly like Indiana. I want to change it a little bit. So I'm going to go up to the paintbrush here and I'm going to go to constraint proportions. And I think I want to flip it a little bit. Yeah, flip it. Cause I, I, I want to use Indiana, but I don't want it to look exactly like Indiana. I kind of want it to morph it a little bit, make it look like my own little con country island. I just used Indiana cause you know, it's our state. And I thought, why not? All right, <clears throat> so now that's, it's a weird looking shape there, but it's Indiana, all right. So I kinda wanna take up my space here a little more, take up a little more of my space. All right, I think that's good. All right, so now, um, I uh, don't want it to be gray. I want it to actually be green, right? So I'm gonna go up to the paintbrush again. This time I'm gonna go, oh, I'm gonna, take constraint proportions off, okay? Because I don't want to be able to expand it anymore. And then I'm going to go to style. And then I'm going to go to fill. And then the word gradient. And just like I did with the water, I'm going to actually do this with the land space. So let's do that green. And then down here, let's do a lighter green. Maybe that green. Yeah, I like that. And so I'm gonna kind of play with it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So there's my land space, okay? That's my island. Yeah, looks a little funky. It is what it is, um, but I have it. So now what I'm gonna do is lock it so that it doesn't move. Um, and so when I start to put my physical features on it, it stays pretty much there. So hit a range and I'm gonna hit lock. Boom. Um, now I probably should title it. So if I go back up to uh, the paintbrush and I go to slight layout here, I'm gonna put title, all right? I actually can put a title, uh, which is actually the name of my country. And it's Indiana, so I don't know. Do I want it to represent Indiana? I'm trying to think of a theme. theme. You know what, I'm gonna use this theme. I'm gonna think about all of the colleges that are here in, the, in Indiana. And so that's how, I'm, that's what I'm gonna name it. Uh, I'm gonna name it after, that's gonna be my theme, the colleges in, in Indiana. Um, so I am going to name it, I know we're named for Hoosiers. I don't wanna call it Hoosier land. Uh, I'm gonna name it, I'm being corny. I'm gonna name it Cornville. Because, <laughs> hey, why not? And I think I want to make it bold a little bit. So let me go to my text, make it bold. So that's my title. All right. Cornville. Let me go back. It's not bold. I want it bold. Yeah. I want it bold. So that's the name of my, my country, Cornville. All right. <clears throat> so now... Uh, I'm actually going to add a couple of physical features and I had some saved already. I went out to the internet 
And I wanted to show you guys um, some things that I pulled out of the internet because I found some really cool images. I actually went to Google and I did like um, landform clip art or, you know, images. And so um, I came up with some really cool landforms. And so this one I saw is actually like a cliff. Um, and so you see how it's white and I don't want that white background. Um, sometimes it's good to put the word transparent when you're Googling so that you could actually get a transparent background, but we can easily get rid of that white space. So I have the image highlighted. I'm going to go up to the paintbrush again. Then I'm going to go to image and instant alpha is where all the magic happens. So I'm going to touch instant alpha. And then I'm just going to touch the area that I want to get rid of. You guys see how it just disappeared? And then I hit done. So now I actually have a physical feature uh, image that is just, look at that. It's just the background. And so I've got to figure out where I want to put this. Uh, I think I'm just going to put it in the middle. And I, make, I think I want to make it a little smaller. Okay, because that's a canyon. All right. <clears throat> And so then let's go see what else images I have. I have, um, I have this mountain here that I like that I pulled off of the internet too as well. And so I'm going to put that up there because I kind of like that. All right. Then I'm actually going to go into the shapes and I'm going to do nature, going to nature. <clears throat> and I think I want, I want this river here, right? Um, but I don't want it to be gray again. So I'm going to go in and change the color. Remember to go to style, feel, gradient. Let's see here. Trying to remember what colors I used. Okay. Possibly. Let's try that. Let's see. <clears throat> what I try to do is try to have it match um, <clears throat> as much as I can. <coughs> Excuse me. Match the, um, the water that I already have. But that looks kind of cool. I like that. Okay. So have my river flowing from outside okay and um, I can lock it <clears throat> so I'm gonna hit arrange and I want to lock it because I don't want it to move I want it to stay there and I'm gonna do the same thing with my other physical features because once you start putting them where you really feel like you want them you want to lock them in place so they don't move as you add other features okay so you go to the paintbrush, go make sure you're at a range and then hit lock. So I have two physical features, one body of water. Um, and then you can actually start to name them. So if you go up to the plus sign and go over to basic and hit text, you can actually start to name them. OK, and so I'm going to name this river. And I'm going to hit my text because I think I wanted to. I'm going to um, name it in D River after Notre Dame. That's what I'm going to name it. And I might want to like change the font a little bit. Just I'm going to go up to the paintbrush. Remember, the paintbrush is basically how you edit your text. So I want to make it bold. I'm going to make it a little smaller. <clears throat> so that's Indie River. And then I got a mountain over here. So I'm going to add another text. And let's see. What's another? I'm going to do a... Uh, so maybe I should name them after the um, the mascots. Yeah, I am. So Indiana State, they're the sycamores. I 
I don't know how to spell it. Sika. Ah. Nope. Sika more. I know I'm not spelling it right, guys. I'll figure it out. Let me see if it'll give me spell check here. There it is. I see it. Sycamore Mountain. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm just going to change it to the actual, like, what they're... Um, make that bold. Make that a little smaller. So that's Sycamore Mountain after Indiana State. I feel like I need to make it a little smaller so it'll fit the caption. Okay. And then this is going to be Irish river okay um and then over here i have a canyon i'm trying to think of different sea balls oh cardinal canyon because of the cardinals ball state hey i thought about that okay so cardinal canyon yeah i want to change the font <clears throat> So remember the paintbrush is where all of your, um, all your editing of your font and stuff goes to. So that's Cardinal Canyon. Okay, so as you can see, there we go. I'm starting to create my physical features and my land masses. And then eventually I'm gonna put the cities on here and everything, all right? So that is breaking apart a land mass. Now, the other one I'm going to do, I'm gonna add another blank canvas <clears throat> once again i'm gonna go in and change my background gradient get that blue going Ooh, i like that that's kind of it's like a rich blue Ooh, i like that look oh look at that oh i really like that okay so um, this one i'm actually just going to use a regular object as my land space okay and so go back into the plus sign and we have all of these shapes here, right? You got geometry shapes. I don't know if you wanted to do uh, a land dealing with math, <laughs> you could do that. We have objects here. I know that there's some students who are actually doing their theme of their island is uh, designer clothing. All right. I don't know if you're into that type of thing. Um, what if you were into food? Um, there's actually a chef's hat there, um, things like that. Um, if you're into tennis shoes, you could actually bring in one. If you like animals, nature, right? Food, I've had students do food before. Kind of cool. We have different symbols. So I think I am going to use a, huh. I kind of like the music notes. Science. Hmm. We already used places, transportation. I think I'm gonna use, shouldn't make this as hard to <clears throat> I'm gonna use a high heel, why not? Okay, <laughs> as weird as it is, it is what it is. So first thing I wanna do is of course change the color, go to style, gradient, we're gonna hit that green, dark, green, and then Maybe a really light green. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay. And then I'm going to actually go to arrange and constraint properties because I want to kind of pull it out because I want to take up my space. Remember, we talked about taking up that space. So I kind of want my high heel to kind of. All right. Okay. 
now I'm going to actually lock it in place because I don't want it to move. So there is my land space. And this right here looks like a bay to me, like uh, this little area where the high hill is. So I think I'm going to name that a bay and I'm going to actually put um, some features there. Um, but I think I want to put a, a lake inside. <clears throat> and so... Um, another thing that you guys can actually do is you can actually draw. I'm not the best at drawing, guys, but you can draw. So I'm actually going to go to the image is, which is like your photos. And um, you can actually do a uh, drawing, right? It's like I said, I am not the best, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do black. Or better yet, maybe I want to make it brown. And I'm actually going to try to draw um, uh, a lake. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm going to actually just draw a little organic lake. All right. And then I'm going to fill it. So what you do is touch the inside blue. And you see how I touched the inside and made it blue? Okay. Let me try it. Let me show you again because I had made a little spot. So I drew my little organic looking lake, right? <laughs> then I went and touched the paint. See the paint? And then I pushed what color I wanted. And then I, I wonder if I can do gradient. I don't think I can. Mm, let's see. Nah, it doesn't suck I'm gonna let you do that. So I picked blue. As a matter of fact, let's make it the darker. Um, okay, and then touch the inside. And look at that. There is my lake inside of my high heel shoe. <laughs> um, so if you're a person that's pretty good at drawing, um, you could actually do that. I know some people are actually drawing their islands out too. And I'll show you guys how to do that as well in a minute. Um, so there I have that. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some mountains. And this time I'm actually going to go to basic and text. And I'm going to touch the text. I'm actually going to go into my um, keyboard if it will let me. Sometimes it lets me and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why it does that, but. Okay, it pulled it up and then it didn't. I don't know why it does that. I need my keyboard. I think I showed you guys on the keyboard that there are some other really cool physical features. It won't let me. It doesn't like me touching. It won't let me pull anything up. Guys, it's giving me problems. Nope, I don't want to insert. I just want to type. Okay, there it is. No. Does it let me go to my keyboard? It's not, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> so, you're in your emojis, right? Go to your emojis. Um, and if you go through um, to, I think it's places, I want to say. Yeah, travel in places. You'll see that you have some really cool physical features here. You also will eventually be able to put some buildings up not a lot to represent your um, your cities. You know, maybe you want to put a boat out there in you know in the middle of your island just uh, to show. I put a boat out there just to add something cute. I'm gonna go to text because I want it to be a little bigger. All right. Um, I'm actually gonna make it a little bigger than that. Uh, put a little boat out there. All right, maybe somebody. All right, so then I'm gonna go back and do text again, and go back to my emojis and see. I already have some physical features over here. Maybe I want there to be a um, volcano. So there's my volcano, but of course it's not big enough. So I'm gonna go up to the paintbrush. I'm gonna go up to title, and I'm actually gonna go back. And I think I want to make it a little bigger than what it already is. So I'm just going to hit the increase and then I'm just going to move this over here. And I feel like I want to put that right there. All right. <clears throat> so 
I want you guys to have a lot of fun with this. Um, have fun creating your space. Um, and so, yeah, um, I'm going to make a couple of more videos um, as we go along um, to show you some other things that you can do to help your presentation really come to life.